Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 29. Last time we explored more of the uh, upper region of Mount Gelmir, exploring a lot more around this place, um, ending an encounter, ending the episode with an encounter with another falling star beast in this crater down here. And while we still have more to discover around this location, um, that being getting to this burnt minor erd tree, crossing this bridge to go over to this location, we find ourselves in Volcano Manor to join, to join them. Uh, so we do have the, uh, we do have the uh, offer from um, Lady Tanith to join and we, we've been thinking about it. We haven't yet joined um, but we will, because there is actually... Hang on, that's new. That's new. Excuse me. Is that Dialos? Hang on a minute. Excuse me. Uh, I was gonna say, this hallway that we explored last time is every- all the doors are locked and we can't actually enter anything, so I'm assuming once we join, um, we might have access to more of the mana, but But this is new. This was not here last time. Please kill him. That horrendous serpent. Praetor Rikard. Okay, it's not Tialos. I thought from a distance it might have been him because I just saw like the like longer dark hair from a distance and obviously he's glowing. The serpent Praetor Rikard. Who are you? Hmm. You're tarnished. It's a Gelmir knight. To put the demigods to the sword. Then please, kill the great serpent. The one that devoured Praetor Rikard. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. Worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through. The great serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. The great serpent that devoured Praetor Rikard. Yeah, he's wearing the... Uh, he's wearing the Gelmir Knight's armor piece. So this is a Gelmir Knight. Praetor Rikard's ambitions, though blasphemous, marked him a worthy sovereign. But they were reduced to gluttonous depravity once he gave himself to the serpent. Whatever that thing is, it is no longer Praetor Rikard. Someone must kill him to spare him and his ambitions from further dishonor. Dude, it's such a cool voice. So menacing. Worthy tarnished. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. It is the only thing that can kill that horror. Okay. Run it through. The great serpent, that unspeakable monstrosity. Why is he down like this? Worthy tarnished. Worthy tarnished. Right. Okay, so we need a serpent slaying spear left in the Lord's chamber. Um, I wonder what caused him to appear. Maybe we just had to do some stuff around the Mount Gelmir region. Um, that we obviously skipped over because we just accepted Raya's invitation to just teleport right here the first time. Okay, I thought that was going to be Dialos from a distance, because obviously I've been waiting to see him in particular that I just thought it would be him. And last time we were here, we got invaded up here. Alright, let's speak to Tanith. And uh, I guess we'll just accept the invitation and then, you know... 
we'll be able to hopefully explore more of the of the manor and then we can check the lord's chamber for this spear i suppose all right hello what's this have you reconsidered the prospect of rising with us against the Erd tree uh yes and i most certainly don't have my fingers crossed behind my back so don't look very well your decision is most welcome now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable. There you go. There's the drawing room key, so we can now proceed. Interesting. Drawing room key. The door can be found in the Westwood Corridor upon the left-hand side. The drawing room is through the hall. Use the key I handed you and make yourself comfortable. Okay. The door to the left of the Westwood Chambers. Now this one's blocked. So I'm assuming it's just going to be this one here. Use the drawing room key. Um, there are other locked doors, but this seems like a very specific key. <gasps> Raya is here. Okay. Raya is there. Oh! Okay, no, this key actually does open more doors. Okay, hang on a minute. We've got multiple doors. Alrighty then. Multiple rooms to explore. We'll try, we'll do one at a time, so... There's not a door here, so there's a door opposite all of them until the end of the corridor. What's this one again? Yes, also a drawing room key. Okay, so there's just one that's blocked shut. One room that is blocked shut. Alright, let's take a look. Just work our way down the hall. A perfume bottle. Blocked. Uh, pretty sure because it said the one on the, the key said uh, the one on the left. Up on the left hand side. So that's the drawing room. Where I assume is the room that has Raya in it. Uh, this one is... Is this really an empty room? I can't attack any walls, but I can roll into them. Oh, hang on. This doesn't get destroyed. Every other piece of furniture can be destroyed, not you. But I can't attack you and I can't roll into you, so... Hmm. Okay, a room with nothing in it? Except for a, an invincible wardrobe. Curious. Alright, now I'll check this room. <gasps> there he is! Dialos! Okay, he is here. Oh. Oh, this is one big room on the left. Okay. Who are you? Who are you, fine sir? And Raya, please, that back. I swear to God, your posture gets worse every time I see you. Letter from Volcano Manor. And a recusant finger. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Uh, the letter from Volcano Manor. Oh, maybe it's an important info. Yes. All right, because we've, we've had the invitation before. Fight amongst a family of champions. A written request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnished to be hunted. Old Knight Istvan. He can be found in Limgrave. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. Limgrave. Oh shit. Okay. So we're actually taking out tarnished NPCs that I think are specifically tied to Volcano Manor, so it's not like we're gonna be like, you must go and kill Dialos, or like these characters that we know of. Okay, that's that's interesting. That's uh, that's slightly different. Now, we've got a recusant finger. Which is similar to the bloody finger where it attempts invasion of another player's world. However, attempts an invasion of another player's world 
You will arrive as an invader, recusant, with the objective of defeating the host of fingers of that world. This furled finger is covered in snake scales, an heirloom to the, of the Lord of the Volcano Manor, bequeathed to Tarnished, who have become family. I'm assuming it's a, yeah, it's an infinite use item as well. Okay. Oh, that's cool. The portrait of Radan. Okay. Hello again. Brave Tarnished, as a scout, I am pleased to see you again here, at the Volcano Manor, under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Interesting. Brave Tarnished, under Lady... Okay. My man, you are here and very well composed. Like, I thought you'd be kind of, like, here, seeking... Revenge? Did you uh, you join the family? Are you undercover like me? Ah, oh, I. It's it's you, is it? Yeah. Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well, I see. Then we're comrades in arms henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Yes. Hmm. I don't think he'd be so willing to join the family considering they murdered Lanya and he like swore revenge against them. I feel like he may have joined to like seek revenge. Like he's undercover, he's not actually. Otherwise, I don't know what to think. I, um, I can tell you're wondering about Lanya. Very self-aware. Well, you see, I, after much internal debate, I've come to realize Revenge is not the answer. Okay. According to Lady Tanith, I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue, that my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Lanya knows this, I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both, but such is true of any road trod by champions. You let the proprietress of the manor give you a compliment and it went straight to your head, son. I always resented these hands, their pale complexion. A far cry from any warriors. The shame of House Hoslo, but that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. He allowed himself to get totally manipulated by Tanith, who was just like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell him he's got the stuff of champions, and he's gonna eat up every word." Well, that explains that, I guess. I always resented the pale could that won't be the case. Be the tale of House Hoslow is told in blood, after all. Okay, well, who's this guy? Dude, he's got a snake mace. It's like, it's a snake. There's a lot of snake stuff going on here. So we've got a great serpent that's consumed Praetor Rikard. We've got... Uh, the fur, the uh, the recusant finger, which has snake scales on it. We've got. Um, we actually found ourselves the snake shield, the coil shield. I don't think it's tied to this area though, but we found it nearby. And then we've got this goddamn snake weapon. You, what in heaven's name are you doing here? The volcano manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. I understand. I mean, you know. But psst, just between you and me. I'm undercover. Don't tell anyone. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. I thought you were tarnished bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Hmm. This blasphemous path leads only to a pitiful death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Who is this guy? Very interesting armor. I'm 
like, I've already expressed the fact that I have uh, a lot of hesitancy towards doing this. I don't know if this is going to have any long-term consequences, because the way that it's being described by this guy, by reading about it, by, you know, what's going on here, it's like, it's like I'm definitely hesitant, because it feels like it's going to have some some consequences. I don't know if it'll affect things leading up towards, you know, certain uh, events or, or everything, but I mean, fuck, like, I want to experience this, this stuff, and I feel like I have to do this in order to get to to Rikard, or at least so I thought. Um, oh, that's cool, they're all on here now. Oh, shit! Hang on, Recusant Banal. Banal, 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 banal. We have this written down. Hold on. Ban banal. I've... I swear I've got... Banal. Where have I... Where have we heard that? Where have I read that before? Let me check my notes real quick. Not recusant banal, but I've... Uh, I swear that I have heard that before. It might be on, like, an item that I've read instead. Fuck, where have we heard or read about banal? Just seeing if I've got anything in here. Just scrolling through my pages. Nothing is standing out at me. Hmm. No matter how many notes you take, it's never enough. Because there's still more. Hmm. Oh, hang on. No! Ah, oh, Banal. There you go. Banal is the Ash of War merchant. Hang on a minute. Banal is the Ash of War merchant. That's who he is. Where is he? He's There's no one at the War Master's shack anymore. So this is him. Ah, oh, this is him with a helmet on. We can actually see. So that's his. Yeah. Ugh. That's where we've seen this armor before. It's just the for the fact that he's wearing a helmet. That makes sense why he recognizes us. This blasphemous before you consider. I didn't recognize the voice though either. So he's a he's become a recusant now. Let's travel to the Warmaster Shack real quick. Yeah, I knew that it was we'd read that name before, and it's one of my very first notes. The Ash of War vendor. Interesting. Well, now we can't get Ash of War from him anymore. Uh, that's my bad. I didn't expect him to move. That's that's silly of me. Well, fuck. I guess we'll go. We're we're nearby this guy, so let's let's go. I guess let's start doing the Volcano Manor quest line. Banal, Dialos, and Raya. And hang on, if we go back up there, because now we've teleported, is everyone still there? Yeah, so Knight Dialos, Raya the Scout, Recusant Banal. Okay. Now, specifically this pathway here, I don't think we've tread this pathway. It's right on the, on the road. Ah uh, yes, the storm walls. So we're about to take our first step into tarnished hunting. The forest walls that just come out of the trees from above is so funny to me. Do we have to use the recusant finger? I, oh no, it's a there you go, it's a summoning thing. I didn't think we would have to. Invade old knight Istvan's world. Okay. I'm so hesitant on this quest line. There he is. Defeat old knight Istvan. Whoa, okay. Hold on. Old knight Istvan, give me a give me a moment. Oh fuck, I haven't even Okay. What What? Okay, hold on. Hold on. You, you're catching me off guard here, sir. Even though I'm the one that invaded, so I technically should not be off guard at all. <laughs> oh! 
I thought my attack might have knocked him down. It did not. Oh man, this man does not get staggered easy. Alright, we've already gone through all of my heals, so that's great. Yeah, you got frozen, buddy. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> oh, there was one blow left for each of us and I failed. <laughs> I thought I was about to get that hit and I just totally failed. Oh, you could see his face. Oh, we were, we were bested. <laughs> oh, the embarrassment. The embarrassment. I totally wasn't ready for... Um, I didn't expect him to have... Um, not that much... Uh, as much health as he did. Alright, hang on a minute. Let me... Let's use something. <laughs> let's do use something. <sighs> oh, actually, something that I really want to do soon is I want to upgrade some of these other weapons that I'd really like to, to use. Because I'm looking at some and I'm like, ah, I want to use this, but I can't because it's just not upgraded yet. Um, but I will. I'll do a nice little upgrade. Right, let's take our whips off. The whips were enjoyable. I like to bust them out when I'm when I'm in the mood. Actually, no, that's the gravity one. Let's have that as our second one. I don't want to do gravitas. Oh, fuck. Why don't I keep doing this the wrong way? There we go. Yeah. Alright. Let's do that again. <laughs> Let's do that again. So I think because we lost an invasion, um, like I'm not seeing my runes anywhere. Chug. Rune arc and a fur calling finger remedy. And 1800 runes. Because <laughs> uh, I, I think how... Uh, oh no, hang on. My runes are here. Oh, we got his armor. It's scaled as well. Is it serpent scales? Sorry. For some reason I assumed my runes would have just been in the in his instance. They were just kicked out to my world. Which is, which is good. Because... Uh, I feel like, I, th I think the way that some NPC invasions, not NPC invasions, but invasions work is uh, if you lose to someone with your runes, they just get your runes. I think that's how that works. So I, I thought that I might have just permanently lost my runes, even though it's to an NPC, so it's a little bit different. Alright, we just got a new... Oh, it's in our legendary set. Scaled. Helm worn by Old Knight Istvan. The corroded metal is reinforced with rock-hard scales, making it highly effective against non-physical attacks. Istvan is one of the few wise and tarnished who survive to this day. Do they? Has he survived to this day, though? It looks cool. His, his armor looks really cool, actually. Rock-hard scales. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. It actually fits with uh, some other pieces of gear as well, which is which is quite nice. I like the I like the headpiece. It's pretty it's pretty sweet. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's cool. Alright, well, let me put my stuff back on. That looks pretty cool. I like that we've got, we're getting so many armor pieces that are having, like, a, a cape attached to it. Very cool. So many cool armor pieces at the moment. All right, let's let's head back to Volcano Manor. I'll head back in. Ooh, okay, that spirit. I don't know what spirit is glowing. I don't know if it was a spirit where the person was actually there, but they've disappeared. Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek. Nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. What's kind of at least fitting about pursuing this is we've been doing Rani's stuff as well, and Rani is opposed to the Two Fingers. It seems how we're how we're splitting up these factions is we've got like Volcano Manor here, we've got Rani doing her thing, uh, we've got the Two Fingers doing their thing. Um, have we got other people? There's, there's like there's so many different factions doing doing different things in this in this world um and funnily enough while i think these the this group of people here these uh recusants are not great at all they're you know they're the blasphemous kind i also don't think i just i don't feel too hot about the two fingers as well with how they're doing with how they're doing stuff but it's just because there's such a weirdly suspicious aura about them let's just trust these this giant, literal two fingers on a hand. You've completed your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true, and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. This is your reward, as promised. Magma shot. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to valor. My allegiance and loyalty lies with Rani alone, but it won't stop me from also poking my head into some side quests and some other things. Now you are a recusant, I am pleased to have you on our side. Okay. Let's check in with, uh, with the others. I'll just check if these rooms change. And then, yeah, the person who was here is now gone. Ah, uh, and we have our next letter, okay. Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls? Like breathing or slithering scales? Slithering scales. Oh, Fy, what am I saying? It just is impossible. I must be tired. Gives me Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets vibes. <laughs> You're hearing like the the basilisk like navigating through the the bathroom tunnels, like the pipes. Sometimes I hear strange sounds beyond the walls, like breathing or slithering scales. Mm. Perhaps I'm just feeling tired. Raya is just like Luna Lovegood, except she's uh earlier on slithering scales so you've blooded your sword in the hunt then i shall introduce myself once more banal a recusant just like you recusants have particular battle arts 
styled to our methods of slaughter. Why not add some to your repertoire? Oh, he's gonna... Now he's got more stuff. He's got... Okay, he's got the same Ashes of War, but he's also got some other stuff. We'll read the Magma Shot as well. Uh, Eruption and Assassin's Gambit, I think, are his new ones. Skull of the Knights, Skill of the Knights, who serve at Volcano Manor, slam armament into the ground, spawning roiling lava which spouts up upon release. And Skill that masks the user's presence at the cost of a self-inflicted wound, grants near invisibility and silences footsteps. Interesting. It's an occult affinity as well. You've come to understand now, eh? To take power and make it his own, the recusant must hunt his own kind. To raise the flag of revolt against this sanctified pillaging, we recusants must become the most wretched of predators. All you can do is laugh. Hmm. Right, well, I might purchase them just to get them from you, sir. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this stuff, though. Uh, having a cult is pretty cool. Yeah, maybe later. Well, until we meet again. Okay. Dialos. I always resented these hands. They're pale, complex. That won't be the... They'll be dark, a tale of how... Okay, he's just saying the same shit. Um, and then... Another letter. Okay, the Altus Plateau, Riley the Idol. <laughs> and then we invade and it, he's, he's just literally like an idol NPC just standing there. I can't attack, I can roll into war, I can't attack anything though. Hmm. Is there more of the... Do we have any, could we have any illusory walls potentially in here and I can like get to this door that's blocked. If you're hearing sounds behind the walls... How do I get in this door? Blocked shut. Hmm. Now you are a I am pleased. See if anything is new upstairs now. I wonder if we joined the manor if we would still get invaded here. Upstairs. I assume that that is Praetor Rikard. With a mask on similar to Tanith. Okay. Um, we're going over here. Oh, okay, we can get there. Let's go to the first Mount Gelmir campsite. Can we get down from here? I think I remember this part because we were looking here and this goes towards this area. Yes, we... I think we need to do the Erd tree go down that way to get. Oh, there's a bunch of iron virgins down there. Fuck. God damn it. Just wondering if there's a uh, way that we can. Ah, oh, ladder. Ladder! That might do the trick. I found my way down. But I don't think this way will be able to get us to the Erd tree because this bridge is lower. Alright, these Iron Virgins still have their heads. Hello, you've spotted me already, have you? Yep. That's good. That's good. Oh god. Um. Yes. Hello. Oh! Oh my god, why does it have to be multiple of them, dude? Ah, uh, oh, ah, <laughs> ah, 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 
Oh, we got one. Okay. Oh! 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 Ah! Oh god, it's coming for it. No, don't let it grab you. It's coming for you. Ah! <laughs> no! Holy fuck. I fucking hate these things! Jesus! These things, dude. What the? What? Another one? Oh, why does it have to be two of these ones? Oh, did that do more damage because its doors open? I think it did more damage because the doors open. Yeah. Oh no! Oh god! That was we just we were stuck. I was not getting out of that. Oh, you fuck it! You would. You would. Yeah. When the doors open, it does more damage because I guess it's got the. The arms inside, which are also snakes, by the way. Also snake arms. We're getting a lot of serpentry. Floating part of the environment. Okay. So this will... Didn't mean to do that. Uh, this will take us to a bridge that we can't cross from this side. We need to get... We still need to get down to the Erd tree. Get out of here. Get, get out of here. Oh! I'm about to get invaded. There we go. Anastasia! Tarnished Eater. Okay. Well, better for, you, got, you better show up. You better sh you better show up with the with the intent to kill, lady. You don't know who you're fucking messing with. You made a mistake. You tried. Sacred butchering knife. Well, Anastasia, the tarnished eater, got corrected. So there you go. Um, let's take a look. What did we just get? A great axe. Huge carving knife made to cleanly butcher the human body. Signature weapon of the Ogress Anastasia. Known to have eaten, eaten countless tarnished. Literally in eaten. Not like, that's quite literally eaten as well. Not just like, you know. Yeah, the tarnished eater. Cooked and cannibalized. While disguised as a finger maiden, restores a very small amount of HP when it squarely strikes an enemy. She do be feasting. Golden Vow. Uh, we'll read that as well as Magma Shot. Because I kept saying that we were going to read Magma Shot. Um, Alright, let's read Golden Vow. Incantation of Erdtree Worship. This incantation has been taught to knights of the royal capital for generations, and knights sent out on distant expeditions lean on it as a source of courage. Is it a sorcery? It is. One of the sorceries developed from the magma of Mount Gelmir. After discovering the ancient hexes of Gelmir, Rikard, son of Queen Renala, brought them back into practical use as new forms of sorcery. I wonder if Renala is a pow proud mother of her children. No. So, I think what I had written down is, uh, so. Radagon, Radagon of the Erd Tree married Ranala of the Moon, and then Radagon was the second Elden Lord, and then divorced Ranala, said see you later, and then became the second husband of Queen Marika, leaving Ranala with the egg. So 
So we've got the we've got children of Radigan and Renala, and then do we I think we've yeah, we've also got the children of Queen Marika, which I assume also are from Radigan. Is ever so is most of the this is the point you go on for so long in this game with so much lore and so much story that you do start forgetting some of the earlier stuff that was given to you oh god the fucking dog scared the shit out of me uh so you go like you know i've, I've forgotten the detail of whether all of the children's father is the same father and they're all i think like a lot of them are half relatives uh, like half sisters, half brothers, whatever, because Radigan is like the father of all of them, I think. But then Renala and Marika are the mothers. This is a this is a family drama. I love that it's it's so funny because like it's this it's such a family drama, and we're just this tarnished that's rocking up just to become Elden Lord from this whole ass thing that has happened before we even rocked up here you know the the war for the Elden Ring the shattering because all of the all of the, all of the families are fighting <laughs> all the relatives are upset at one another and doing doing their own thing okay so yeah we can't get to the minor earth tree from there because the bridge is too high but we can go down to this place oh god oh look they're fighting one Good luck, everybody. You'll do great. I believe in you. Okay, just let them exist on that battlefield. God, it's a massacre. Okay, where are we? We got a grace point going into here and then... Lost Greece discovered. Bridge of Iniquity. Okay, let's start leveling up some stuff. Level up our intelligence. So the Bridge of Iniquity and then the Road of Iniquity over here. Okay. And then if we go over here. Oh, is it down there? It's down there. Okay. Well, I guess let's go over here first. We'll need to get down before we can go down this ravine, I guess, to the to the summon sign. What are you guys looking at? Like the mana? The volcano? Waters plateau. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we can jump down here actually. Yeah. Okay, we can head down. We can just continue to f f follow these down, which is good. Hear something over here. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa. 
What the fuck is this? Oh. That is... Oh god, that is absolutely putrid. Okay, so that's a cursed something or other. Look at this shit. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just... I'm, I'm gonna just remove you from this world if that's okay. And of course you just give me shit. You just give me literal golden shit. God, there's Lily. I could hear like that, the noise and it like... What the fuck? There was also something glowing over here. Ooh, Mirage Rise. Oh shit! Okay. Hang on. Touch three phantom crests. Ooh, there's a Mirage Riddle to make a tower appear. This is our first phantom crest then? Okay. Alright, so we've got another one of these. Uh, keep in mind as well, by the way, that this weathered map, we still have not figured out. Um, a simple, badly weathered map, left discarded and forgotten for some time, depicts streaks of amber light. Now, I actually think we've been somewhere with that, and I forgot about it. That's another thing that we haven't figured out yet, the streaks of amber light. Uh, we've been... We've, we've been in a place with the blue, like, glinstone light. Okay. Simple map taken from an imp statue. A concerning arise that vanishes like a mirage. So... Uh, let's compare that to our current map. I guess we're at the tower, right? So we're right in front of the tower. So the, we've got the one that was here. So there'll be one here and one down here somewhere. Oh, I guess we'll see it because it's glowing blue. It's not exactly like it should be impossible to see. At least this one seems like there it is. At least this one seems easier than the riddle for the for the beasts. I'll have to. I'll definitely have to um, go back to the other ones because I think what this is at least confirming for me is I think the the puzzle or what it relates to is next to or close to the tower. So, I think these, the beasts might be, I guess, I guess maybe some sort of enemy or something to destroy the wise beasts and great wise beasts. So, I'll travel back to those and figure them out as well. Alright, the third phantom uh, mirage should be over down this way. Oh god. All these fucking things. We've got a grace point. We'll touch it. I don't know if resting at the grace point resets the phantom markers, so I'll just... I'll wait. I need to be over this way. Go over this way. Oh no, hang on. That might have been the one... Hmm. I might be reading the map wrong. I don't know how to read, clearly. This way. Yeah. Well, if we run in a direction for long enough, we're bound to... Can I get up there? Alright, I need to go around it. I think it might be up... Oh. Oh, hang on. There's a phantom imp that has appeared. Do they appear close by the phantom markers or on the trail of it? Is it around here? Where are we? Oh, we're straying too far now. Not that way. This would be much easier if we could pick up this map, so. <laughs> we also need to get the map. And then there's also this church area thing that we need to check out as well. OK, 
Okay, let me get this map. This will make things at least a little bit clearer. Sorry, I keep having to open this to make sure I'm going in the right direction. If only I could leave a beacon on my map or something. Wouldn't that be smart if I just did that? We've also got another golden seed nearby too. Map of the Altus Plateau. The Altus Plateau, where the Erdtree's base can be found, contains the royal capital of Laindel to the east and Mount Gelmir to the west. Scars from the shattering remain apparent to this day. There we go. And it's revealed a finger uh, reader. Getting a new map is always so exciting. Uh... This will be our streaks of amber light, I think. This bridge here, you see that? Looks exactly like that. That's the bridge right there. That's the bridge. Well, we have the answer to the weathered map. This one, however... Okay, I think the, mir the Mirage thing is very close to the tower. We need to be like... It's like... I think it's like here. It's like this... It's around here. So let's focus back up on this phantom mark. Cause I, okay, so it might be at the church. Oh, I forgot to get the golden seed. Oh god. Oh no, not another one of these. Also, we're at another church. Of Marika. Which means we can talk to Melina here. Actually, no, we can't. Because there's no fucking... This is the second church of Marika, but there's no... Grace point? To speak to Melina? That's interesting. We've been able to speak to Melina at every single Church of Marika that we've found so far. Hmm. Also, this is not where the phantom symbol is. Just a, uh, a bloody boy and a bloody dog. A couple of bloody dogs. Try again for this mirage. So we started here, which is the one at the tower, and then we went off. Ah, oh, we went off that way. So we've already got the one down the bottom, which means we need one that's like over here. Okay, hang on. The other phantom symbols over this way. I was reading the map wrong. It might be up on the platform? Yeah. Let's head up. I think it's up here. Otherwise I'm just terrible at reading this map right now. We've found two successfully. I didn't really find two successfully. One was presented to me, and the other one I just glimpsed from a distance, but... I think we're too far away. Maybe we have to go up... one more level. 
It feels like it's too far away from the thing that. Oh, God. This feels like too off track. Because it, it feels like it's out of the region. Oh, hang on. No, I need to change the fucking angle of the map. No, hang on. This is the thing. Alright, it's over here. I, my apologies, everyone. I was reading that map completely wrong. It's over there. Fucking hell. <laughs> For some reason, I was just, like, taking the map, uh, the map's current uh, sort of orientation as the same orientation on my map, which is not the case at all. It's over here. Because obviously that structure was a clue and I was just totally blanking on it. So we would have, we'll figure out the puzzle for this one. God, I love the darkness of this area. So misty and creepy. Just gonna quickly pop in here, guys, if you don't mind. Just gonna grab this guy, take him off your hands. Somber smithing stone. Now, yeah, because we encountered the fucking imp around here. Oh. Aha, uh -huh. that's why I didn't see it immediately. Glowing rock. There you go. Nice. Okay. Now we'll head back to the tower. Oops. Oh, I'll rest at this grace point now so I can actually see what it's called. Without checking the map. The Bower of Bounty. And I also just wanted to see if maybe we could talk to Melina at this one. Because there isn't one for the church. However, no. There you go, the tower is now there. Dude, the concept of a Mirage Tower is so cool, actually. I love that. A bit dark. Ooh, unseen blade and unseen form. Slumbering egg times five. Oh, I've already had that before. Cool. Um, and then we got... Are those sorceries? Yes. Mask makes the caster semi-invisible. Also extends to cover the mount while on horseback. Wow. The Selian assassins considered every option that aided their dirty work. That's really cool. Okay. So we've done the Mirage. There's a Finger Eater up here. Cave, Minor Earth Tree. This is massive. And then we need to... Interesting. We might be able to go through here. Now that we have this piece of the map, this makes this much more obvious that I think we can start here and actually just head down and without going up this way... And this is where the, those golden rays are going to be, I guess, according to that map. We can proceed down this ravine, which will take us to a cave and also um, Riley, and then to this place. 
Getting a new map piece is so exciting because just seeing all the architecture and all of the geography that wasn't there before is really, really cool. Okay. And then we've got our, another map if we go across the bridge as well. So let's go to the Erd Tree Gazing Hill. And then I think after we do this invasion, I'm going to try figure out those wise beast towers. Because it seems that um, they are connected. I'm also going to immediately um, I need to go back. <laughs> uh, where did we get... Where was the... I hate that whenever you pick up a map, it's no longer on the... It's around here somewhere, right? I need to go back for the golden seed. I need to go back for the golden seed. <laughs> I think we went up here, then we jumped down to the Church of America. It's on a road somewhere, so I think it's over this way. Let me just quickly run through, pick up this golden seed. How many do we have? We've got, we've got one. So it's not like we need one to level up or anything. So it's not like hugely urgent, but also I just want to have it. Otherwise I'm going to forget about it. Um, Cause I keep forgetting about it while I'm literally here thinking about it. These illusory banners though. Just gonna get back on the road. There it is. I was close. There you go. I was pretty close to where I put my beacon down. There it is. Okay. Now, we haven't explored or ventured out into this area yet, so I don't want to just like run and skip through it. We'll go through it properly. go through it properly but for now we're going to focus on heading down this ravine to do this um, this poor tarnished who's just living his life he's just chilling out he's like boy I sure do love living in my own world I hope I don't end up getting invaded by a random recusant what is that Ash of War, Blood Blade. What is that? Excuse me. Blood Blade. Wound self to coat the armament with blood, then unleash an airborne blood blade that causes hemorrhaging, can be fired in rapid succession. The blood affinity and the following skill. Actually so cool. Especially because we already had the bloody slash, which also looks awesome. I want to I want to definitely give myself a an like a blood blade as well. Maybe I can convert one of Jesus Christ. Um maybe I can convert um my last Uji katana into a blood katana. Just for just for fun guys, you can never have too many katanas. Am I right? I know you guys love them. A cold one, a blood one, a magic one, a, sh a small one, a gravity one. I need a I need a katana for every for each and everything. I need a fire one, and a lightning one. Whoa! Hello. I haven't seen one of you for a while since Leonia. You know what one of my favorite things ever is in video games? Just one of my favorite things ever that is actually handled so perfectly in this game, like it, I, I love it so much, is rain. Rain in video games is one of the most beautiful things that you can ever experience. There's just something so nice about it because I think it's like, uh, and this isn't like for everyone, um, but a lot of people don't really like being out in the rain in real life because they're like, eh, I'm wet without my consent. You know, I'm not getting into a shower. I don't want to be wet right now. <laughs> so there are people who don't like the rain. There's people who love it. I, I also love being in the rain, but like um, 
when you're in a video game, it's different because you're not physically in the rain yourself, but you still get that like that feeling. There's just something about being in in the rain that I really love, especially in video games. Okay, get off this horse. What? My, my, I'm frozen. Um, my my character is frozen. I can. There we go. Jesus, I was stuck. I could My character wouldn't do anything except use the telescope. That was weird. Couldn't move. Couldn't dismount. Strange. <laughs> Old Altus Tunnel. Just quickly looking f to see if there's ledges on the way down the lift. There is indeed. Seemingly dead end. Cracked crystal. Okay, so we've got uh, this cave here. Which was actually, interestingly, blocked by stone sword keys. Okay, so this is just, this is gonna be a crystal one. How dare you! How dare you! How fucking dare you! The, the annoyance sometimes of yeah, souls-like enemies. Okay, we do have smithing stones in here as well. Smithing stone five. I said I was going to do those towers and do this, but we got to do this first. So we got distracted by a cave. May as well complete it while we're here. Okay. Just hearing dogs. Dogs. Oh, nice. Bolt Drake Talisman plus one. So we do have the base version of that. So that's cool. Smithing stone. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's two of you. And there's dogs. Well, this is fucked. Fucking, I'm just gonna. Just give me a sec. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, camera, camera, please. Fucking. I'm in. A, I'm in a dead end. Fuck 
fucking hell, what was that? I'm not in a dead end, it was a boss wall. Fuck you guys. The fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> troll's hammer. Of course it's a troll's hammer, because these enemies are a bunch of trolls. Trolls are descended from the giants, and these were supposedly once used as ceremonial smithing tools. In the distant past, smithing was considered divine. That it was. That it was. And you used boss souls with a with a giant blacksmith to forge you beautiful weaponry. So that ladder, we already dropped down from there. Alright, so we've got the boss room. Didn't see you down there. Cool. Okay. Boss of the cave. It's a big boy. Stone, a uh, stone digger troll. Okay, big boy. Big boy. Whoa. <laughs> Hang on. One of these. I think it's the meteor. Um, wow. I think it's the the meteor sword. Yeah, it's the meteor katana that's doing the work here. I love that it's just like the final hit and I'm just taking forever here. Oi, mate. <laughs> See you later. The Great Club. From the Stone Digger Troll. That's right. A very useless mini boss. An enormous club of hard wood. Wildly hammering foes with this striking weapon requires no dexterity, only brute force. While it may seem sacrilegious, this weapon is said to be a withered branch of the Erd Tree, imbued with holy power. This weapon will never snap. It's alright. When you, when, you, when you go up against a stone digger troll, it's just an enemy. It's just like... Well... Ain't nothing super special about those bad boys. Let's return to the entrance. So we've got some smithing stones and killed our lovely boss. Let's go do this invasion. Actually, while I'm here, I... Yeah. Oh, didn't even see that. While I'm here, I'll quickly... Um, Just need to rest at the uh, at the grace point. Get my stuff back before I invade, because I know that I'll invade with less flasks and everything like last time. So we'll go back out onto the road. He's through here. There he is. Put the beacon like fucking right on it too. There you go. Leading my way over there. Invade Riley the Idol's world. Alright, let's see what we're going up against with Riley. We're getting some cool armor from uh, from our first man. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Oh, crossbow. Oh! Is that a confessor's outfit? We've got matching hoods! Alright, well you're certainly not idle. Ah, oh, have you got the scorpion stinger's blade? Oh, that's... That's cool. You've got a bit of a jump in your step. Certainly not idle. Nice. Returning to your world. Teabag and then a polite bow. Because I have honour. <laughs> 
Ooh, not... Okay, not an outfit, but Crepus's Vile Talisman. Something different. Eliminates all sound made by the wearer during movement. Small mysterious bottle with a dark mist sealed within. A ritual implement used by round table hold assassins. There was a time when tarnished who had strayed from guidance feared nothing more than utter silence. Wow. We'd almost be like full stealth. We have crepuses vile and concealing veil. All sound made by the wearer during movement. Nice. All right, if we continue up here, let's just see if there's a point of grace. I'm also really curious to know the name of this location. What's the name of the poison land? Certainly is poison. Ew. I fucking. You mind? The most evil enemy in, in all of Souls. The slugs. Fucking. <laughs> oh no. Or random geometry. Weirdly casting shadows. Ugh. I need to find a way into this place. Ah, oh, no, I was going to use the horse to jump up. Okay, well, it won't let me. Can't use the can't use torrent when you're so close to the to the edge of the place. Poison flowers. I'm just going to find a grace point and get the name of this place, and then we will do those other towers. What is this? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. Oh, hello. Mei Li... I'm trying to read your name. Mei Li Murray, Shaded Castle Castellan. Mei Li Murray, Shaded Castle. Shaded... Okay, so I guess this, this place is the Shaded Castle? Nice try, you fuck. Ow. I was about to do a polite bow. Anspur Rapier. Murray Mask. Murray Road. Ow. Fucking giant stone fucker. I'm stuck on the environment. Let's look at the equipment that I just got. We got a new rapier and outfit. Spur of a giant ant, which has been fashioned into a rapier. The blade drips with scarlet rot. That looks so cool. Scarlet rot is an old legend of which Malay Marai. I think it's Malay. Malay Marai. Because I think it's not Marace. Because I think with the way that it's written, I think that the S is silent. I think it's Marai. Malay Marai of the Shaded Castle was a private believer. So it's the Shaded Castle is the name of it. It's not Earthen Peak, everybody. Hold your horses. <laughs> and indeed, he eventually found his own personal goddess, the Dream. Okay, um, now... The 
robe. Robe with a black mantle across the shoulders, customarily worn by the head of House Mirai. The sons of House Mirai were all sickly born. Little wonder that Meili Mirai would be so beguiled by the beautiful and fierce goddess who was born into rot. That's a cool looking... Yeah. Cool in theory. Less cool now. Less cool. Okay. Um, but the mask, however... That looks cool. Mask in the image of a white-haired young noble, customarily worn by the head of House Mirai, increases arcane by one. Increases arcane by one. The Mirai family has a dual history spanning generations, serving both executioners and castellans of the Shaded Castle. This mask bears the likeness of the first of their line. And as usual, another family starting with M. Nice. Um... Give me my... Yeah. How interesting, like, a bunch of just, like, discarded stone statues littering the place as well. So bizarre. Shaded castle. Well, I'll continue to look for my way in. Which I think is... There's a way out, unless I'm able to jump up these things. I think this might be our way in, because I won't be able to take the horse. There you go. Found a way in through the back. The Shaded Castle. Yeah. Okay, everybody's stinky here. No. Are you about to. Ah. Uh... Why can't it damage them? <laughs> Why won't you let it damage them? Don't vomit on me. Don't vomit your shit. Oh no. Not, not a rotten flower. Guys, I don't want to be here yet. I just I just want a grace point. So I can come back here later. Eh. Eh. I can't even use torrent in here. Eh. Alright, let's take a look. There's a ladder there. I'll properly explore this place when we when we come here next time. For now, I seek to probably climb that ladder. Oh god, there's a dude. Oh, oh, ah, ah! Jesus, you settle down? Okay. I'm gonna need you to stop, okay? I need you to chill the fuck out. Thank you. None of that bullshit. Is there another one? What the fu- Oh no! Oh no! Yeah! Nope! No, bad basilisks. Don't do that. Oh god. I'm just grabbing this and I'm leaving. Fuck off. Nope. 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 Why am I slow now? Not the slow! <laughs> How dare you also make me slow here. You fuck. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. See ya. See ya. See ya. Get out of there. Nope. Ladder. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Classic. It's like they just wanted to put like a little bit of Blight Town in here, but outside. Just a little bit. Okay. Surely, surely a lost side of grace 
is here somewhere. Okay. Just looking from up high to see if there's any. There it is, over there. It's over there. Alright, like I said. Is there another one over there? I think there might be another one over here. You can see a got glow. You fucking piece of garbage. You fucking piece of garbage. Now I have to start again! Oh my god. Should have seen that coming. I love that I almost survived getting pushed off and then there was just the other one. That's what I get for just running past these stupid ass putrid zombies. That's right, I wanted to do the exact same journey again. Because I just, I just love exploring poison swamps. Just love it. Love getting my boots all green. I love that there's just like, just random little things that have like come over from Dark Souls 2 uh, for Elden Ring, which is which is really great. You can tell that they were like uh, wanting to to gather parts of all three Dark Souls games um, in Elden Ring for that evolution, instead of you know um, just focusing on like Dark Souls 3 evolution. Lots of lots of cool stuff from all three Dark Souls games in here. Uh, looks like I'm not able to get... Ooh, hello. You shouldn't take too long to get up. That's a you problem. That's your fault. You took too long to get up. Like, don't complain to me about it. Hello, room of statues. I have come for your treasure. Valkyrie's prosthesis. And again, I I pick it up without even looking at what what it even is. <laughs> Why do I I forget to look at that icon? Honestly, there it is, key item: golden prosthesis used by the one-armed Valkyrie. The, a masterwork of craftsmanship with practice and skill. It can be used pros proficiently as a real arm when. Meili Marai, Lord of the Shaded Castle, embraced this prosthesis. He claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. I need to give that to Garenk. Interesting. What's well, a key item? So we will see, I suppose. I've forgotten her name. It's not off the top of my head, but I believe this. The, all of this stuff is obviously because it's. The rot, the prosthetic arm, the you know the goddess of rot and all that stuff. It's uh, what's her face? You know who I'm talking about. What's her face? <laughs> the one with the arm. Uh, I've forgotten her name. It's not. Uh, I can't remember. Here's our grace point. All right. Now, like I said, I just needed this one grace point. I know that there's another one, but we'll, we'll come back here later. I'm getting out of here. The shaded castle. It's the one who fought against Radan in the Land of Rot. We're so close to... We're so close to this spot. Um, we're heading back to Volcano Manor just to get my reward for killing Riley. And then we'll check out these towers. I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. I love that she says my usual reward. I'm like, are we, are we at a point where it's usual now? We've only really had one reward from you before. Serpent Bone Blade. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor. Lord Rikard. Mm. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, 
squabbling for crumbs, like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Our lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. Okay. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> so I have to keep doing this to meet with uh, Rikard. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. It cannot come. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll have to pick up our next... Maybe it's, I guess it would be the door that's blocked. Oh, hang on. Rai is gone. Dialos is also gone. Unless they're just in a different room. Look at you. A recusant through and through. I knew you had it in you. Take this. Letter to Banal. Should it be letter from Banal? A special invitation. Oh. To hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table. That makes sense. If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. Oh, so it was a letter sent to him, an invitation. You're still alive, I see. Well. I like the detail that that one's already been previously opened. How cool is that? A written request from Volcano Manor addressed to Banal, disclosing the names of two tarnished to be hunted. Oh shit, we read about both of these. Vargram the Raging Wolf. Another Raging Wolf type? An errant sorcerer Wilhelm. Both men can be found in the royal capital of Lane Dell. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. Cool, and we'll be fighting alongside Banal. Where did I read about both of them? I read about Wilhelm uh, and Vagram in one of these. Ah, uh, the errant sorcerer robe, right? Worn by the errant sorcerer Wilhelm. And then Wilhelm was led by guidance into confrontation with his friend Vargram, and it was said he was then taken prisoner in Round Table Hold. That's what we read about them. Oh, a red letter. Excuse me. A red letter. A written request. Oh no. Oh no. A written request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnished. As the final request, the letter is vivid red. Juno Hoslo, Knight of Blood. He can be found in the mountaintops of the Giants. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. We're going to murder a member of House Hoslo. So Dialos isn't going to be too happy about that, I bet. Because we're gonna, we've he's lost Lanya, and now we're going to murder someone named Juno in his family. Fucking hell, all the way over there, dude! <laughs> look how, dude, look how much more of the map that is. <laughs> Holy shit, man! It just continues. Look at all this unknown territory. What the fuck? That's so good. Alright, and then the Lane Dell one here. Vagram. Wow. Okay, so we've got more to do in that regard. Dialos is obviously doing something. Raya is still here, but Dialos is not. So Raya is definitely in another room. So we might have a follow-up on her, maybe hearing the... Hearing the sounds behind the walls. Ah, oh, it's a snake. <laughs> okay. That's what's in this room. Hi. This is not Raya, is it? Raya hasn't turned into a fucking snake, has she? Is that her cloak? 
Are you a snake now? Brave tarnished. Oh my fucking what god. What is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness. Am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this appearance. Oh, yeah, I didn't freak out. Tarnished. This is my true form. My real name is Zarias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. <laughs> ah, Lee, the, it's, everything is fine. She's like, please, I can assure you that everything is as it seems. By the way, I am a snake. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just trying to find where I originally wrote her name. Um, so she's currently, un so her true form is that of a snake. Zarias? Raya's true form. Uh, goddamn. Yep, we totally didn't freak out Zarias, so that's chill. So... The ability to... That explains the posture. You're not even a fucking human. Uh, it all makes sense. I love it. She's like, goodness, am I still a serpent? As if you can't, like, look down and see your own s snake hands. Um, I... Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what the deal is. So, does that mean Rykard can also shift into his human form, but he's been absorbed? He's, he's also massive serpent I guess because the dude was saying that he's devoured by a serpent I wonder if that's because that dude didn't understand that seemingly it looks like they can actually shift uh, I can change their appearance Lady Tanith is my mother I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king okay. that my mother cherishes this form I inhabit I am proud of what I am but people are cruel if they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so, I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. Yeah, okay. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. Well, I was wondering why this room was empty, and now it makes sense. This is the snake room. My serpentine form. My serpentine form. Very cool. Thanks, Raya. Very cool. Sorry, Zarias. <laughs> Goddamn. All right. Well, I was gonna check up here for her, but uh, yeah. Just seeing if anything changes up here while we're up here and while we're in this place. Okay. Does it update on the... It does! <laughs> it updates on the map to Zarias the Scout. Oh, actually, hang on. Let's speak to Tanith. I wonder if Tanith will comment on it. Uh, boom. Just dropping in just to say hi. You want to tell me about that snake woman? If you follow this, it no. cannot... No. Okay. Oh! Nope, I can. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Literally, I'm so glad that popped up as I was running away. Did you see her? Yes. The girl, Raya, with her true face. Yes, can you do that? Mm. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother, I ask of you, please be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. Adoptive mother. Please, be kind to her. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Okay. Interesting. Good to know. Now, uh, I... These... 
next ones. This one we can probably do soon, I, I guess, based on location. This one, probably not for a while. Um, so we are going to do some towers now. We've got so the tets uh, Testus Rise, which is some wise beasts. And then up here, there is also Chelona's Rise, which is great wise beasts. So let's finally do these. So I'm assuming it must be located within the area itself, just like those phantom symbols. So this one also has spirits that appear. This one also has spirits that appear. So when we run up here, there's enemies that spawn. So maybe there's like a, like a beast spirit that spawns. Three wise beasts. Yeah, so there's spirits here. So what do we... Okay. Uh, you don't look very beasty. Okay, there's a bunch of spirits. So I guess we're just... Are we looking for a spirit that stands out from the rest? Oh. Hang on. Are the beasts the turtles? Is that what this is? Okay, hang on. I need a I need a longbow. Uh, I guess we won't have any confirmation until I've killed three of them, but I am sorry, precious man. Uh, oh, <laughs> the fall, dude, <laughs> from the tree. Uh, well, that's... Okay, well... Potentially could be turtle. Three turtles. But what's the difference between wise beasts and three great wise beasts? Is it gonna be... Is it just gonna be bigger turtles at the other place? Well, now I just need to look up as well. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I'm pretty confident it's gonna be three of these. I'm so sorry. Uh, now there's one more. One was in a tree! How the fuck did it get up there? How did it get up in the tree? Uh, I don't know what the area is, whether it's the whole island or some of it. There's no spirits out here. Just looking for some phantom turtles. Can I use my torrent? Yes. Oh, the mist stops when we're up here, so I think we need to be in the misty area. Any of you seen a turtle? You'd think they would stand out. I mean, they kind of do when you see them. I wonder if it's... They're not going to put another one in the tree, are they? I'm wondering if it's like gonna be uh, like attached to the wall of the tower. I mean, expect anything if it attaches itself to a tree somehow. All right, not that I can see. Do I need to? Do you need to kill more to get the turtle out of hiding? Uh, we already killed one over here, and then there was another one over here, so I would probably think that there would be one over, like, the left-hand side or something. That is not a turtle. Sure, if this area down here can. Oh, there it is. 
I'm not sure if this area down here counts. Okay. We found it. So that was three turtles. Is the door to the tower open? We finally f cracked the code to this tower. Yes, we have. Okay. Nice. Testus rise. More paintings. Actually, a whole bunch more paintings. Really love the artwork of uh, of Elden Ring. I've said that before, and I've like for other FromSoft games, but it's so nice. Oh wow, that's the that's Ray Lucaria. This looks beautiful from this angle. And then that's the four belfries. We still need that mad that last magic. Stone sword key. Look how cool that is, man. I've actually been tempted to take another look through Rhea Lucaria and Stormvale again, because it's been a little while and those are some big areas, so... Uh, makes me wonder if there's anything that's, like, changed or is or is different in some of, like, the, the bigger hub areas, so I'll be curious to, to check that out. Alright, let's travel here. Let's travel here. And we'll see. Uh, so, three great wise beasts. Are they still going to be turtles? Or maybe there'll be something different now, because... Different. I certainly agree with them being wise, but not beasts. Turtles are not beasts. How much area do we have to do? It's right on a cliff edge, so, like... Oh, are they just gonna be... Like, the actual alive versions? Are they just the alive... No, but there's more than that. You didn't just make me murder three live turtles, did you? Okay, it's... Okay, <laughs> God damn it. Um, are you guys wise? You guys wise? Probably not. You're hanging around on cliff edges. It doesn't seem so wise to me. Someone might just rock up and kick you off. Oh, I've killed three of you. <laughs> just kill anything that there's three of. Alright, there's no... As far as I can tell, I don't think there's any spirits for these ones, so... Okay, it's not open. It's not the, uh... <laughs> um, maybe it's... we just have to push further out? Great wise beasts. Are there spirits out here as well? It's just a bunch of turtles. Great wise beasts. It's just turtles and squirrels, man. They're all alive. Um, what is nearby? I'm assuming that it has to be directly related. Are the great? Are these great? What like? Are these our great wise beasts? You think? that work? Am I allowed in now? Nope, I still see the barrier. Not three of those. I don't think deer are very wise. Hmm. I'm certainly not very wise. Just makes me wonder how much ground we have to cover to do this. It's not going to be Radigan's, like, 
wolves because we've already killed plenty of those if they're in separate locations we've killed those it must be like this full area that ha like I think wherever there's these flowers it might still like communicate that it's the area that it's so that we can do it in it could be three three piggy boys Th three piggy boys just need to find some wise piggies, some great, great and wise pigs. One, two. I just need a third piggy. Are you a pig? Hello. Oh, hang on. Oh, it might be these things. Little, little crystal snail things. Is it you? Ah, I'm just gonna kill three of you and see if that works. And then, is it? Are you a? You're not a pig. I need a third pig just in case, but then I guess we'll never know the answer, will we? Whether it was pig or crystal snails. Oh. Or three wolves. It's gonna be three or something. Oh, and I fucking got killed. I was not even watching my own health. <laughs> not even watching my health. Um, I guess we'll see if the doors open when we respawn right now. If it was those crystal... Nope. Okay. Not the crystal snails. So far, we've killed two pigs. And two wolves. And I don't know if the progress resets. When you die. Because we died like a fool. accidentally press that button. Um, let me get this back. Alright, well let's take out the walls. I mean, they're pretty tough. Oh, for fuck's sake. They're actually very strong too. Like, ridiculously strong. They just fucking munched my health away. So it might be the wolves, just because of how strong they are. Okay, that's two wolves. That's three wolves. Was it three wolves? Three tough and powerful wolf boys. Uh, and we're having a look from a distance. Ooh, hang on. Maybe it just hasn't rendered the door yet? Yep. Okay, not the wolves. False hope. Okay, so it's not the squirrels, it's not the eagles, it's not the turtles, it's not the crystal snails, which I thought it might have been. It's not the wolves. It... The only one we haven't killed three of yet is the piggy boys. We haven't killed three pigs. That's not a pig. Where are the pigs at? There you are. Now, I don't know if progress saves, so... Old fang, gold tinged excrement. I don't know if progress of pig killing saves. Uh, so we might have to kill two more just to be safe. <laughs> So I don't know. Because I, f I I'm pretty sure it's still in the same area as these as these flowers. So as long as we are around here where it's kind of like a bit bit foggy, as long as we kill three of everything, I've now killed three deer. But like I said, they're not very wise those ones. Oh god, I hear something up there. It's not going to be something up there, is it? Let me just kill these piggy boys. Right, I need one more. One more piggy pigason. Are 
Are you, are you the pig of my dreams? No. Damn it. Where the, where the pig's at? Where's the third pig? Might gotta be like this. Where are we? Heading up this way. So many more turtles than any, everything else in this area. Oh, I'm, once we do our last pig, and it's not that, then I'm pretty, pretty much giving up. For now, until later. Hear something here. Oh, hang on, it's up there. Wait a minute, what the fuck's up there? It sounds heavy. You guys aren't. No, you guys aren't wise beasts, right? There's more than three of them, so I'm going to say no. I don't like those guys. We don't fuck with those. I think we're definitely out of bounds for the for the area of the tower now, though. What the fuck is going on up here? It's not a dragon, is it? Oh. It is. Hello. What the fuck? There's a, there's a dragon here the whole time! What the fuck? Guess we'll just kill this dragon while we're here, because we'll get a dragon heart anyway. But, I mean, dragons are great wise beasts, but could there potentially be three of them on this location? Because we've already killed one here, out the front of a place. Does that mean there could potentially be a third... A third dragon on here, and those could be the great wise beasts? That seems most likely. Dragons are wise. I just have no way of knowing until I've killed a third one. There's another dragon over there. Okay, it's got it. It's dragons. It's dragons. Those are our great wise beasts. There is another dragon. Holy shit. Ugh. God. Ooh. Am I about. I'm hearing another dragon getting fucking dangerously close right now, dude. What the fuck? Why are you... Oh, but dude. Get down from there, will ya? What are you doing? Get the fuck down. <laughs> okay. You fucking dragon. Bruh, what are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Pain. Dude, quick, before this other dragon fucking starts attacking me. Oh, there's three dragons up here. Okay, I think these dragons must have got summoned once we in once we engaged with the Fuck. These three dragons must have been summoned once we got into the whole mess. I need to read that serpent bone blade. That's a fucking katana, holy shit. Dragon wound grease, please. 
Oh, I can't use it on the cold one? Shit. I thought I could use it on the cold one. I thought I was I thought I was in the clear for that, apparently not. Hmm. Okay, fuck it. Me killing three of everything. But I am like, could this thing be deemed as wise? <laughs> Things that are very clearly not wise. Let's at least try and... Bruh. Can you just, like, go and fall off a cliff or something? Make my life much easier. The fucking dragons coming in one at a time please what the fuck just happened what the fuck dude it the other dragon just opened it up for a visceral attack what the fuck it just got knocked to the ground by the other dragon what the fuck okay thank you one more yeah all right, we're getting some good dragon hearts, which is nice. I'm, I'm gonna laugh so hard if we kill these dragons and it's and the tower is not open. These are just fucking separate. <laughs> oh no! Fuck. I'm gonna go out on a. What the fuck? God damn it. I'm gonna go out on a lovely limb here and also assume that uh, if I was to die, I'm probably gonna have to restart this triple dragon threat again. Oh, I think it went out of bounds. There you go, it went back to its house over here. It did leave pretty far from where it was. I love that the that dragon we were focusing on just knocked this one to the ground. Like, immediately. Yeah. You would. Okay. Ugh. Just like... Did it just fall off the cliff? Bruh. You went all the fucking way down there and took no damage. Are you shitting me? 
It went all the way down there and took no damage and isn't restarting back to its location. How did it... Dude, it fell off the cliff and took no damage. Maybe it did take damage, but it didn't die. I would have expected it to die. Where the fuck? Dude, it's all the way down there. I don't want to have to make this journey if it means as soon as I get down there, the dragon is just going to teleport back up here. Because that's what I fear is going to happen. Come on, man. Just, just teleport back up here. You're out of bounds. Come on. No fucking way. Why would you do that to me? Alright, let's... We, we gotta go down. Oh, is it back? Thank fuck. It's back. I was not wanting to do that. I was not looking forward to having to go back down there. Like, I gotta go back down there soon, but on my own terms, dude. Not on your bullshit. This environment is not dragon friendly. <laughs> oh, I almost died. That was that was close. That one. That was close. Oh, you are so close, please. Thank you. Okay, we have killed three dragons in a row. Now, the funny part about this whole thing... There's the tower. The funny part about this whole thing is... When you figure out, or if you figure out, the puzzle... Uh, to the towers, is it doesn't come up with a message saying somewhere a door is opened, or, you know, the the barrier fades, or something like that, that you would expect. So you, you have to trial and error something. There are three dragons, so I assume, I think it's pretty safe to assume that we've just done the right thing. But you don't know until you run all the way back here and check. <laughs> like when we did the, the turtle ghosts, the only way we knew was, obviously, uh, the door being open. So now we'll head all the way down. See, I was roaming the, you know, the, the area with the flowers being like, okay, so around here we've got a, lot of, a bunch of animals. There's going to be like an animal that could be considered wise, you know, in, in culture, like wolves and, and, and boars are actually like very intelligent creatures, you know, so I think it could be the, the boars. You know, oh, crystal snails, they're quite magical. Maybe they're also quite wise. You know, that mentality. The fucking barrier is still there. It's not the... F what the fuck? It's not the dragons? I just wasted time. <laughs> it wasn't even the dragons! Oh my god, you see what I mean? Like, how it doesn't pop up with a message. Being like, the barrier fades. Great wise beasts. Could certainly fit the description of a dragon, dude. Apparently not. Apparently not. But you know what it does do? It does give you dragon hearts to go and spend at the dragon cathedral. Um, I'm going to just come back to that one later because I've spent a lot of time on that. To the point where I got confident in my answer because I was like, okay, cool. Three dragons are up here. That's cool. That makes sense. Three dragons... Great wise beasts. Hell yeah. No. Uh, nice. We can unlock the magma breath. One of the incantations of Dragon Communion transforms Caster into a worm to spew magma breath. Those who have performed the Dragon Communion will find their humanity slowly slipping away. Once they fully succumb to their fate, they are left no more than worms that crawl the earth. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, so now we have purchased every available Dragon Communion power to us so far. 
and we still got them yellow eyes. It doesn't change anything else about our appearance so far. Um, is Yura still at his spot? Yura is still at his spot. I'm going to just quickly have a chat to Yura once again just to see if at this point with this many dragon powers and my eyes doing this whole yellow thing uh, if Yura is going to actually acknowledge what's been going on. Bruh. You must not forget though, those who partake in dragon communion will one day shed their humanity, their hunger for drink. Until the flood gave us strength. It's no surprise that He's got such a cool outfit, man. I can't figure it out yet. We'll we'll just see. Like maybe there's another instance, cause uh we have helped him do an invasion with someone down here. Maybe there's just another instance somewhere where we need to do an invasion and he'll like appear and that will progress it. Potentially. That's something I can think of. Maybe let's just quickly check the Church of Dragon Communion. See if there's anything at the church instead of the cathedral. I mean, mind you, I haven't actually used any of these abilities yet, have I? Um, how can we use them again? Because they're, they're incantations, right? They need faith and arcane. Yeah. So they're pretty tough for me, a non-arcane, non-faith user, to do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll figure out that tower another day in that case. So we've got, we're gonna, I'm gonna go and find this finger reader. We're gonna chat to this finger reader in the, in the Gelmir, the Altus Plateau region, because we haven't had a chat to her, because she's just been marked on the map automatically when we found the map. Oh, we have to, hang on a minute. Oh, we might have to, oh, we might have to go to her, this way, actually. I think we have to do... <laughs> I think we have to do it that way. We can't get up there. Something that I'm considering doing then in that case, if we can't do that tower, is I might uh, actually uh, do what I was thinking. And um, I might check out the areas around uh, Ray Lucaria and Stormvale some more. Maybe I'll just I'll just check that stuff out just for a bit. Right, let's skip that because we've already done this before. We've ridden the lift down. So cool there. imagery in this world is so good. So, so good. Okay. Now. Oh yeah, we snuck... We I didn't even engage with these guys, did I? <laughs> I just snuck up on here. So, we gotta run past these guys. Hi, bye! Please don't attack! Ooh. Are they not aggressive? I was expecting them to start, like, drawing their bows and to, like, try and attack. Nice. They're just guarding the, the lift. Maybe because the lift is activated, they're just not... enemies. Look at their fucking faces, man. Look at that shit. Hey! None of that. Look at them. That's what you get for winding up your attack for so long, bitch. That's what you get for winding up your attack for so long. You get killed. Stone sword key.
<laughs> Get down from there. I don't have wings. See, fuck you. I have a big ass arrow. <laughs> oh, right through me other eye. Me good eye. You fuck. Alright. I don't care about these enemies. Get out of my get out of my sight. There's our divine tower of Landell, I assume. Now, do we have our golden streaky rays of light around this area? Hmm, this looks like it'd be, it's the area on the map. I think the golden streaky rays of light should be up here. Considering the, the golden sky and everything. Ah, 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 no thank you. <laughs> what is this, Stormvale all over again? So this is the... That's got a bit more range, yep. You'd expect it to have some range because it's the, like a fucking defensive... Yep, that's still going to hit me, isn't it? That's going to hit me. Okay, so we've got some balusters. Just waiting with the giant doors. All right, well, we're not going that way anyway. I thought about it for a brief moment, but then uh, getting absolutely uh, wrecked straight off the bat. This dude's just chilling. He's on a break. This is what happens when you sleep on the job, pal. You gotta fucking sort up your ass, and you get kicked off the edge. Okay? That's what you get when you uh, snooze on the job. That's right. You won't do that again, will you? No. Right. Point of grace. Ooh, we'll probably be able to speak to Melina here, considering we've been able to speak to her at pretty much every grace point on the way to Landell. Nope. Fucking hell, just when you think you know what's going to happen, the game says, fuck you. You don't know what's going to happen, man. Stop trying to guess. <laughs> this is Elden Ring. You don't know. Oh, I wrongly assumed that we might be talking to Melina. You know what I do know. Pumpkinhead man! Ow. How do you even know that I was here yet? Oh my... <laughs> I was still behind you. But sure. He was just ready to go. Man was aching for a fight. I've got the cold... Okay. That actually worked out quite well. Still no pumpkin head. Still no pumpkin head. Ooh. Guys, we got another katana. Are you, are you happy? It's a poison one! Yes! Sinister Kastana. Sinister Kastana. That's a new word, guys. Sinister Katana, modeled after a serpent bone. The densely packed row of spines that jut away from the cutting edge are coated in a lethal poison. Double slash skill. Skill of superior swordsman. Perform a crossing slash attack from a low stance. Repeated inputs allow for up to two follow up attacks. Dude. Poison build up though. You've got my attention. Double slash. Hang on, I need to do follow up inputs. Okay, hang on. Oh, okay, follow up with the right trigger. Dude, it just keeps going. If I just keep pressing right trigger, it just keeps doing it, and it doesn't cost any FP. Light attack doesn't do anything but the heavy attack. You can just keep double slashing. Holy shit. That is actually awesome. Right, we are leveling up this bad boy. We got a poison katana as well now. So you guys are going to have everything I ever wanted. Everything you ever needed or wanted in katana form. Ah! <laughs> How dare you. 
How dare you all! Let me enjoy my new toy. Nice, and it's cool seeing the poison actually taking effect. Oh, if I just hold down... Interesting. The strong attack is also the double slash. Can you fucking stop? Oh, hang on a minute. I think I've misunderstood. I've, I've misunderstood repeated inputs. So I think it's repeated inputs of the left trigger. Uh, so let me... So if I do this... There you go. So it does like another thing. Ow. What have you just done? Langdell Soldier Helm? This, this is awesome, this one. <laughs> I don't know why I bother so much with these. Eh. Chest! Whoa, we got the Trolls, Golden Sword, we got their Big Boy Sword, nice. Oh, it's this. You there! I'm over here. Trolls, Golden Sword. Take a look at that big boy. Sword given to the lesser giants who fought for the Erd Tree during the war against the giants long ago. Though they have lost their minds, they stay inseparable from their swords that are in sad shape, such that the gold plating had flaked away. And we got the Trolls Raw skill. Ooh, is there another chest over on this one? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Great Shield Talisman. Boosts guarding ability. The Knights of Langdell once modeled themselves after the Tree Sentinels. Their purpose is to protect that which deserves protection, and thus the shield always comes before the sword. That's cool. So you put that talisman on one of your big ass great shields that gives you like a lot of defense. Like the turtle shield that has barricade. And then just have a lovely old time with it. That's cool. All right, where are we? We're here. This is where we ran through before to go through to that point, but I need to get back on track because I just wanted to go and speak to the finger crone reader. Sheesh. So we head back up. Hello there. I saw a chest. You guys don't mind if I loot it? Just gonna open this. Just gonna take this real quick. That's cool. No! What a sacrificial twig! What the fuck? All that for a sacrificial twig. That sucks. That's right. I'm sure people love sacrificial twigs. I just always forget about them. I'm not wholly attached to my runes all the time unless they're unless there's a ridiculous amount of them, so Oh hello big boy. Oh god. Not two of them. Not two of them. Alright, what if I just uh, sneak in here, steal whatever you got and then I'll leave you alone. Alright, perfume bottle. Oh god there's a lot of them. To the finger readers. I think it's. I think this is the road that I'm supposed to be on. Yeah. Oh yeah, because this is where we got the map. We got the map. Ambient music of Elden Ring is something else, huh? Like, look how gorgeous this, this scenery is. Like, this this music 
with this scenery, with like just, it's so good, man. So good. There's a grace point here as well. Hold on. Let's do that. And a merchant. And a sending gate. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. There's a fucking party here. Sending gate, merchant, finger reader, and a grace point. Forest spanning great bridge. Where's that gonna go? We can guesstimate. Probably take us over there. I always get sad when there's a merchant that you find that doesn't have uh, a, a steed with him or a mule. Oh dear. <laughs> Am I, I, terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? <laughs> you as a customer? Ooh, what's he got? Bloody fingers, gravel stone, stone sword keys. Thank you. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook number two expands crafting repertoire to a lightning pot. Scorpion kite shield. Emblazoned with a yellow scorpion, a warning of surprise attacks and sudden strikes. Crossed tree tower shield. Cool. Red crest heater shield. They all give 100% damage negation. Lightning bolts. Tree surcoat. That looks kind of cool. Draped over chainmail. The tree insignia emblazoned on the front depicts the Erd tree, and it is a design beloved throughout the lands between. Unseen Assassins and Imp Shades. Okay. Contains knowledge about Unseen Assassins and Imp Shades. Alright, I will I will bite. I'll buy them from you. I'll I'll buy. I'll see what you got. How many gravel stones do I have? Sorry. Oh, I must apologize. I've I've I've, I've... I'm afraid I've very little to offer. You have stone sword keys, man. Any merchant that has stone sword keys is a winner in my book. Now, uh, unseen assassins. Some assassins cannot be seen with the naked eye. Seems the Erd Tree sentries once carried torches that could cast light on these prowlers. Ooh. Erd Tree sentries, sentries carrying torches that could cast light on them. Imp Shades. Nothing can touch the shades of imps in the hero's graveyard. Only Ro Rosus's light can give them form. Okay, so these are both exactly the same. We need Rosus's light to be able to deal with those. Useful information, sir. Thank you very much for your time. All right, let's speak to the finger reader. You, please. I can read them. Your fingers. Okay, let's show them. Show these hands. You. <sighs> to the east. Ruins of gold. To the west. The serpent's sacrilege. <sighs> Wherever the path leads, so shall you follow. Wherever the path leads, only more sorrow. Mm. Tis a curse, <laughs> a curse, the curse of Queen Marika. Mm. <laughs> Why you gotta do that to me? Why you gotta laugh in my face about the, the curse of Queen Marika, huh? 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 What's so funny? Alright, let's uh, grab this and then we'll head into the sending gate and see where it takes us. Ooh, actually it might send us to all those windmills. Let's go have a look. Yo. Where are we? To the windmills. Ah, oh, okay, so ah, across to the other side of the Great Bridge. Cool.
What the fuck is that? Ooh, I can't lock on. You're not an enemy. The fuck? What are you pointing at? You, yep, that is that's a big tree, huh? It looks it looks look yep, looks pretty good. That's that's it. Lane Dell, Royal Capital. You you like the the golden stuff, huh? Right. Um No, <laughs> didn't like that one, did you? Right. Help! Oh, it's, that's such a deep voice, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so deep. Blues, help! Uh, hello there, my name's uh, Yamato, I'm from the, the Land of Reeds. Uh, you wouldn't guess it by now, I mean, I'm still wielding katanas, but I don't look like my samurai anymore. Uh, yeah! I uh, also uh, sometimes am part of the Ginyu Force. This is my pose. I've been working on it. I can also pose. Do you, do you want me to point? I can do a cry. I've got this. It's called Heartening Cry, except apparently it's silent when you do it. Um, I've got this one. I started the game with this one. Um, I can do this with my hands. Alright. Maybe if I point. If you if you you're, if you point, I'm a. If you're a point, I'm a point. I've got a wave. I got a point. I got pointing upwards. I've got that. Here, yeah, hang on a minute. I've also got that. Do I need to point the same direction as you, or can I just look? I'm pointing at you. Okay, hold on. Let me stand next to you. Let me just here. Let's let's point at this thing together because and without speaking. That word's there. Cool, right? Hmm. Man, a few words, huh? Um. What if I finger snap you? I could do rapture. That that. I could spread out. <laughs> As you wish, rallying really cry. Not in not in thought. <laughs> Beckon, casual greeting. Point forwards. Warm welcome. Not in thought. Me, I need you. I, I need your attention, please. Uh, rapture. I got. I got this one. Look, rapture. All right, I. I'm not sure what the fuck is going on with this dude. That mask doesn't look insanely comfortable. You can see out that thing, right? I. I am just. I am right here. Just in case you were looking upwards and you can't see me, I am here. Hmm. This is a curious one. Uh, there's gonna be some way to make this dude speak, right? Uh, where's my finger snap? Yo! Hey! 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 Alright, we'll come back later. Fucking hell. All he cares about is the fucking tree, man. <laughs> All he cares about is the fucking tree. It's not even what I came here for. I came here to look at some windmills. Alright, I'm gonna need a point of grace. Ooh. What's going on over there? Oh, we got a dance party. Nice. Uh, hang on. Have I got a dancing gesture? I'm gonna need to join this party. Hang on. I'm gonna dress for the occasion and everything. There's a, there's a party. I need to show up and make sure that I... Uh... I need to make sure that I'm good. Hold on. Uh, the inner order is probably an interesting dance move. Uh, what have I got as a dance? Ah, oh, bravo! I can clap at them while they're dancing. Alright, I need to dress for the occasion. Um... What are my dancing clothes? Oh, I've never worn this before yet, have I? 
I mean, that doesn't really look so nice, does it? It doesn't, that doesn't really look so nice. You know what? I feel like I'm adequately dressed already. I actually look quite nice. I look quite nice. I can dance in this thing. Away! Away! You filthy rats. I've got a dance to attend. Ooh, they're singing too. Can I? Okay, they are enemies. I don't know how close I can get before them attacking me. They're just having a good time. East Windmill Pasha. Just having a good time. Bravo! Bravo! Hang on, let me introduce myself. There you go. Hello. Quiet bow. Hello, ladies. Which one? Uh, I'm married, so step off, but congratulations on the dancing. Hold on. Yes. Uh, <laughs> very good. Uh, this is my one. I've been working on this one. I, uh, I lie down. I, uh, I try not to cry, and then I actually, I cry a lot. That's my move. Okay, you actually guys don't care about me, do you? Okay. Oh, this is weird. Nice. Well, I'm going to leave you guys be. Oh god, hang on. What the fuck? Oh, that's not a bonfire. That's a people fire. What the fuck? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I thought that was a bonfire in the middle. I didn't even fucking look. Um... Oh my fucking god. Um... Oh god, oh god. Oh, they're attacking me now. Oh shit. Um, did I interrupt something? What the fuck? Hold on a minute. Ladies, did you burn all your men? Did you burn all of your men and dance around their corpses? And here I bravoed you. I, I congratulated your dancing. What the fuck happened here? This is such a weird... Twin Knight Swords. Ooh, hello. Nobles and Navy Hood. So they were dancing around a bunch of burned zombie corpses and uh, this, these dead bodies. Great. I regret to announce uh, I, I, that I uh, unfortunately were applauding terrible people, apparently. Let's see. A hooded cloak of deep navy worn by expatri uh, expatriated royalty increases mind by one. Such cloaks were gifted to those who departed on missions to faraway lands from which they would never return. But what choice did they have, having seen the guidance of grace? Um... I'm so... so weird what happened there. The noble's travelling garb? A gift of such rare beauty, a royal wouldn't disgrace their illustrious heritage, even if found dead in a ditch in the middle of nowhere while wearing such a splendid raiment. Feel free to go off and die in a ditch somewhere. Uh, okay, so we got noble stuff. Fuck, what else did I did we get? We got a bunch of stuff in one go. Uh, we got a weapon as well. I mean, we got this, uh, like a noble sword. Um, what do we get? Uh, what do we get? We got the twinned knight swords, an attractive twin blade uh, of fine. Twin blade of fine that makes. Oh, a fine make. Sorry, just terrible comprehension skills there. Uh, an attractive twin blade of fine make that prizes the chivalric way. It can be wielded with a single hand, but its true strength is unlocked with dual-handed spinning attacks. Cool, we got another twin blade. Twin knight swords, that's cool. Uh, I'm going to assume that the those women... Uh, not very good at taking care of their horses, either. Just kind of... Yeah... No, hmm. Hmm. Also decided that they never wanted to enter their windmill ever again. They were like, let's just board that one up. 
burn our men and some nobles, kill our horses, and dance around the fire, um, and just celebrate. Uh, weird. Yeah, weird. Isn't it funny, just like, the very odd and unique things that you can find in the world of Elden Ring. You're just walking around and you're just like, the slice of life, you know, just a, just, just a very unique single event taking place in this world, just, and you know, we just were lucky enough to rock up and witness it. Yeah, fucking what? <sighs> Bunch of zombies in the in the pool as well. Oh damn. So this this land of windmills really kinda goes for quite a while too. Just looking for a grace point, because this is another location that I'm not totally sure I wanna be here right now. We were just curious about the the sending gate primarily. I'm really bad at that. I tried to jump the other way, but I too, it's too late. I had already fallen. Oh. Well, it's funny how that works out, because we're already at a grace point. So there you go. We found a grace point. Under the bridge. So, with that one, guys. At the Road of Iniquity side path, I will bring this episode of Elden Ring to a close. We have done a lot of interesting exploring. Oh, there we go. Hang on. The Noble Gold Mask. Oh, hang on. What's his face? Brother Corrin mentioned something about this, didn't he? I should have checked to see if there would be a map, uh, a note on the map. But just before we, just before we end it, before we bring this one to a close, because I kind of want to be here anyway, is let me just check in with Corrin. See if he says anything. Ah, oh, I have been waiting for your return. Yeah. I've decided to leave the round table hold after all. As I mentioned, I'm off in search of the noble gold mask. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. Okay. Let me just buy these from you. Just so I have them. Uh, I'll buy these last two as well, so... Uh, let me just quickly... May the golden ord by these. He was off to search for the gold mask, so that's why I remembered that. That's funny. So, I guess we can just travel back there, and then he might be there? Potentially? Oh, that's probably all that I needed. Further study of I can happily spare the time. And I implored your enthusiasm. Alright. Oh shit, hang on, he's also selling these ones. Oh, hang on. There's multiple that I haven't got. Wait a minute. May the golden... Hang on. Let me cash in some more. I just couldn't afford the others, so they obviously weren't highlighted. Let me grab these. Let me grab these from you. Oh, I will, you know, endeavor to get these from you. One more for 5,500. I'm almost there, bud. I can help. Okay. Uh, nice. All right. I bought everything from you. There you go. All right. See you later. Gold. Um. So he's gonna leave the round table hold, and I'm under the assumption that uh, I guess he'll go to um, that dude that we just found. Uh. So. Wow. I took you no matter. Lay out your arms. I'm still alive, bro. I don't own any... <laughs> I don't own any... <laughs> I don't own any level 1 smithing stones, dude. I'm not... I'm not surprised whatsoever. Not surprised. I'm not going to even be able to level up any of these at this point. I can level up my cold Uchi with smithing stone 6. Somber smithing stone on the wheel. Nice. That's just what I wanted. So I think it's doing three, yes. Okay. Somber Smithing Stone, don't mind if I do. What else have we got that I wanted to level up while we were here? Just. Yeah, that needs an Ancient Dragon. 
these are also somber smithing stones because I was looking into these. I wanted to use these as well. Somber smithing stone for the royal greatsword, naturally. I don't have much left in form of runes, so I'll just do this. The pizza cutter wheel, baby. Alright, so Corrin's gonna leave. So let me just quickly. God, the map is getting confusing now. I'm just like, where were we? Okay. Let's head here. Oh, actually, it might have been easier for us to go. Unless, is there an easy way up in, back again? Not from here. This is the funny thing about about Elden Ring is you're just like, <laughs> you find a time where you're like, okay, gotta take my break now. Gotta gotta stop playing. But then you're like, ah, oh, but but what about this? I gotta quickly do this because this is interesting. All right, let's. We found Gold Mask before, uh, <laughs> before Brother Corrin, so that's probably made this easier. Unless Brother Corrin is going to be elsewhere. Hmm. Okay. I was like, unless Brother Corrin is potentially going to be elsewhere. All right, he's not here, which means maybe we need to find him in other locations first. Hmm. Well, I know where you are. Let's just hope Brother Corrin eventually finds you, huh? <laughs> um, I guess he's on... I guess he's on his journey now. Somewhere. I'm gonna assume that he's not here now. If we... if we travel here. Yeah. He's left. This place is getting emptier and emptier. Brother corrin has gone. Dee's dead. Rogier's dead. Uh, Lady F uh, Fear, she's gone. Just these two. And Gideon left. This is a pretty, pretty empty place, dude. <laughs> Dialos was here and he's no longer here either. Crazy. Round table holds is getting emptier and emptier as we go through the game. But now, finally, with that one, guys, we'll bring this episode of Elden Ring to a close. Uh, we will have to find out and figure out where Brother Corrin has, uh, where his journey has led him. And we'll find that out next time. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Elden Ring. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.